We're heading where nature takes us. Ah, uh, look at this beauty. Hogwarts students only. No wizards. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty good vantage point. He wants to get into our car. And yes, there are people swimming out here. Hey there, travelers. I'm Eliz for Means to Travel. My husband Derek and I are college sweethearts and share a passion for exploring the globe. After so much change for us in 2020, we decided to take a giant leap and run out our home in Chicago for some extended travel. This series chronicles our three-month stay in the United Kingdom. After documenting our strict two-week quarantine in Southern England, we set about exploring many of the wonders that this enchanting country has to offer. During this time, we became official end-to-enders, met up with some cherished friends, got our rental car towed twice, and absolutely fell in love with this corner of the world. So come along as we explore the UK. In the last episode, we made our way northbound into the Scottish Highlands once we secured a new rental car after getting a flat. We had some bad luck at first with stop traffic and mud, but then got to take in some lock views, eat some fresh seafood, and settle into our new Airbnb in Fort William. In this episode, we spend our first full day in the Highlands by exploring nearby Glenfinnan. We'll be giving some tips on visiting the Glenfinnan Viaduct and the nearby Monument Visitor Center, plus a few other cool stops on the beautiful banks of Loch Shiel. What's up guys, it's Derek. And from Means to Travel, and today is our first morning in the Highlands. We're here in Fort William, the largest town in the Highlands, and we are getting ready to head out to go to Glenfinnan today. Glenfinnan is famous for two things, as I think of it. First, historically, it is the place where the Jacobite uprising kind of called their forces together for Bonnie Prince Charlie. Which is huge in Scottish history for sure. Yep, and if you watch Outlander, that takes is a central theme of the first season. The second thing that it is very well known for is the location of the Glenfinnan Viaduct. The Glenfinnan Viaduct kind of looks like an aqueduct, like a Roman aqueduct, but a train passes over it. And you might remember it, even if you're not a Scottish history buff, you might remember it from Harry Potter. It is very famous as one of those aerial views of the Hogwarts Express going over this kind of when Roman the aqueduct. When the Dementors come and attack the Hogwarts Express in, yeah. in the movies, and chaos ensues. That is where we're going today, and there is a real life Hogwarts Express type thing. It's called the Jacobite Steam Train. It passes by it twice a day. Once today, I think at 10.30 a.m., another time at 3.30 p.m. So if we don't catch the morning one, we will catch the afternoon one, but we're gonna go now because we wanna try to catch the and morning. It's the last day of 2020 that they're doing it. Yes, so, so we, we are filming. Go today. We're filming this on <laughs> November 6th, Friday, November 6th, the day after Bonfire Night. And today's the last day. So we saw that yesterday and we're like, oh my god, we have to go today. So <laughs> let's go check it out and see if we catch it. See you there. So we have arrived here in Glenfinnan. We've parked over at the National Trust of Scotland parking lot, which we are members of, so it's free parking. Very nice. For us. So we're heading up now. We're gonna walk up to the pathway that takes us up closer to the viaduct. And you go up a little path and you actually have this really nice aerial view, which is gonna be really cool, so. But in the meantime, it's pretty here. It's so pretty here. It's very awesome. It's very fall. Last time we were here, we stayed down this road a little bit, and it was really nice. And it's on a lock, lock shield. Maybe we'll go there for like tea or something after this. That'd be nice. That would be nice, actually. That would be a great thing to do. I don't know if it's open. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to Google that. Let's figure that one out. But in the meantime, hashtag the Wee Harry Potter Bridge Project. So it looks like they're expanding a parking lot down there now since we're kind of on shoulder season. So last time we were here, it was August, late August, and I think it might have been around a bank holiday here in the UK, and it was absolutely mobbed. And this, this go around, despite it being the last day, 
that the train is running. It's like nowhere near as crowded. But we got, when we were here in August 2018, we got to the parking lot and got the absolute last space in the parking lot at 9 a.m. And the train doesn't come until 10.30, so. Yeah, and you know, th <laughs> to note, that was a free parking lot that we were staying at before. We weren't going, we weren't members of the National Trust of Scotland at that point, so we didn't want to go pay at the National Trust parking lot. Um, but a lot of people had to do that, because. But it was still mobbed, no matter what. Yeah. Um, so I'm really glad to see that things are going so well for them, that they're expanding. It's great. In the meantime, hopefully it won't be quite as mobbed up on the overlook because it'd be nice to have a little bit more to ourselves this time. Alright, so Hogwarts students only. No wizards. Good times. Alright. Yeah. What a place. Okay, so Liz is over here setting up to try to get some cool footage. And I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty good vantage point. But. I'm gonna go up here and see what that looks like. See if we should move or maybe even set up from two different locations. Give you guys a few more options to see it from. All right, so here's a different vantage point. I think it's pretty nice. See how Liz is over there. I don't know. We might need to set up from two different locations because it's still pretty nice up here. More and more potential viewpoints. Today is November 6, 2020, and it is the last day of 2020 that the Jacobite steam train is going to go across this viaduct. The Jacobite steam train is this really cool kind of old school steam train that goes across parts of the Highlands starting in Fort William and then 15 minutes later goes across this viaduct here and is very popular as a tourist attraction. The reason why, other than its extreme beauty, is that it was featured in the Harry Potter films. So t Harry Potter fans from all over the world like to come here and see the train go by and just remember the movie scenes with the Jacobite steam train in it that represented the Hogwarts Express. So I'm also a Harry Potter fan, so I'm super excited about this. Derek and I were here two years ago and it was packed. And today, definitely not as crowded as it once was. And it's about 10, 15 now. So we have 15 minutes until the train comes. When you do come here, it's about probably 10 minute hike uphill from the parking lot. So these views are stunning and absolutely worth it too. So I'm gonna get this set up so that way you guys can see the train go by with me. So we are the last people standing here today. Everybody else has kind of gone home for the day because the train has come by. Uh, we caught it, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun to see. And we love doing this when we're in the Highlands because it is, you know, it's not just a stunning place to see the train go by, but it also is kind of like that childhood reminiscence of Harry Potter and the magic of that world. So it's kind of a cool thing to come out and see. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so this is a really <laughs> awesome spot for me to just sit and enjoy. Yep. Um, so a couple of things while we're here, because we have the time and nobody's here with us, so we can do whatever we want. We can yell. It's great. So what I will say is that a little bit of history for y'all. Um, 
The viaduct here, which is so beautiful, was built between 1897 and 1901. 1901 is when trains started running on this thing. And every day you get two chances to see the Jacobite steam train run by. One time around 10.30 in the morning, another time somewhere around 3.30 in the afternoon. So if you're coming, definitely plan your trip around those times and make sure you get here early because it can get quite crowded. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we really enjoyed our time here. We think that this is a must-see location within the Highlands. And But Glenfinnan does not only have the viaduct. There's more to it than that. And one of those things is the Jacobite Memorial, the monument here. So we're actually going to go down now, and we're going to go check that out and bring you guys along with us so you guys can see a little bit of Scottish history while we're at it. Let's go. We are continuing our walk down to go check out the monument, the Glenfinnan Monument. But check this out. Whoa! I'm almost falling left and right. Okay. Stop falling. You've dropped my phone, you've dropped your sunglasses, and you're dropping yourself. I'm dropping myself. I'm, you know, it's so pretty that I just can't help it. I'm dropping everything. No muggles, I guess. That's... Hey, guys. We're all about inclusivity here. So muggles are totally allowed. As well as wizards and others. Oh my goodness, we didn't do that. We didn't do that, but that says E and D. Because we don't do graffiti, but you know what? That one says no wizards. No wizards. You know. Hogwarts students only. Am I a Hogwarts student? You're such a Hufflepuff. <laughs> I'm not even gonna deny it, really. I probably am. Ah, uh, look at this beauty. This guy on the wall is Charles Edward Lewis John Casimir Sylvester Severino Maria Stewart. Yep, that's nine names, though you may know him as Bonnie Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie was the son of James Stewart and grandson of James II and VII, the last Catholic king of England, Scotland, and Ireland, who was deposed in the Glorious Revolution of 1688. He was forced into exile by his Protestant daughter and her Dutch husband. Over the next half century, there were various attempts to restore James and his Catholic heirs to the throne, with the final attempt being made by Bonnie Prince Charlie in the Jacobite Rising of 1745. On August 19, 1745, Charles, along with his Scottish supporters, raised the royal banner here in Glen Finnan, along the banks of Loch Shiel, where this monument now stands. Though ultimately unsuccessful, the Jacobite Rising of 1745 had a lasting impact on Scottish culture, severely weakening the already fragile clan structure and leading to a persecution of Scottish heritage and widespread forced transportation to the colonies. This monument and museum tell this story. All right. Going on a little bit of a nature trail. Liz, are you enjoying the nature trail? We're heading where nature takes us. I slash we're, this we're trail. Where the trail takes us. Yeah. Which is fun. Hey, look, there's passing place. Passing place. All right guys, so coming to the end of this bridge is totally worth it, because check out these reflections on the lock. Stunning. And it's a really, really short walk from the Glen Finnan Visitor Center for the National Trust. What do you think, babe, worth it? Yeah, look at that reflection. Totally worth it. We're on this nature walk in Glenfin in Scotland that starts right outside of the visitor center and you walk over into this wetlands area of Loch Shiel once you start going on this boardwalk pathway and over the bridge. Oh my gosh, is it beautiful and we have it 
all to ourselves today. Derek's getting some really good reflection shots too because the sun is out and the mountains as you guys can kind of see here there's certain parts of the lock that are very still and the mountains are just reflecting so beautifully. And over there that little yellow house looking thing that's actually a hotel that's the Glen Finnan House Hotel which we stayed at last time that we were in this area and it is a wonderful hotel. If you guys are ever interested in coming to Glenfin in Scotland. But time to go see what's up this hill. Okay, we have made it all the way past the lock here on this nature path outside of the Glenfin and Visitor Center. But we are going to turn back because we left our lunches in the car. We were totally not expecting how beautiful this would be throughout the entire path. So we got to go eat some lunch and head back, but I think this is definitely a place we're going to come visit again if we're in the area for quite some time, like we're expecting to be. So let's head back. And I will say it's a much longer walk than I expected. I thought it was just going to be a really short little like nature trail and it actually loops around the lock quite a bit. So might be an afternoon activity. There's also a spot up this hill that you get a little bit better of an overlook over the lock. Um, so I climbed that a little bit and it has a really, really great view, especially this time of year where all the leaves, most of the leaves have already fallen off of these trees that are in the wetlands area. So if you want like a little bit more of a bird's eye view of the area, climb that little hill too. What's up, buddy? Hi. What's up? How are you? Hi. Yeah, you want a pet, don't you? Hi there. What is your name? You greet us here. Yeah. Hello. May I look at your collar and, and know your name? Let's see here. What do we got? It, we got a... We got a yellow tag, but no name is used. What's up, buddy? He like wants to get into our car. <laughs> but I think he also just wants food. He wants some foodies. Let's go. We're going this way. Okay. Okay, guys, we are... That was definitely not a stray, by the way. That had a collar. Um, it was a very, very friendly dog. Um, Sad he looks sad. We well, we didn't have food to give. All we had was grapes and do not feed dogs grapes. They cannot digest them. We learned this when we fed grapes to my parents' dog. Yes. And then had to take it to the vet. Yes, but she she was okay. Um, but anyway, so we're going into the Glen Finnan House Hotel, which is where we stayed last time we were in this area. We're going to go try to get some tea and coffee. Oh no, they're closed for the winter months. Oh. Okay, we're not going there. We're but not going Google there. Google did not tell us that. No, so. but I do kind of want to go down that path because I remember it was really pretty last time. Let's see if we can go there. All right, bit of a rocky beach down here. It's pretty cool. And yes, there are people swimming out here. And lock shield. Trying to capture right now the orange and the leaves of the tree, the orange and the life rings over there, and the orange in this boat. It's also pretty cool, there's like a turquoise rope to get to some really great colors and just um wanting to quietly point out there are two very amazing people swimming in the lock right now it is not warm out so i'm very impressed with this and i think it's awesome all right i'm cold and i'm not even swimming so <laughs> yeah i put my gloves on um, the ones that 
still allow me to use my phone and film stuff. But it's so cool that you can just kind of like walk along the lock here um, in this kind of more residential area, which I really liked when we were staying at the hotel up here. Gorgeous. All right, time to head back to Fort William. Let's go. We were thrilled to be able to share Glen Finnan and Loch Shiel with you all today in this vlog. It's easily one of our favorite stops in the Highlands. Leave a comment down below about which stop in Glen Finnan looked the most fun to you. I can't decide personally because they were all so special. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, it would mean a lot if you pressed the like button or left a quick comment down below so that YouTube recommends others to watch as well. And if you want to be sure to see more UK travel vlogs in this series or any of the other helpful travel videos on this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe and bell buttons down below. It helps support this channel much more than you know. Thanks so much for watching, cheers, and happy travels. Bye! Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.